Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna talk about this part of the, my home automation fire and security system alarm. So it's uh, about the RFID card reader module and we're gonna mount him. So I have the actual that was always to my system which is this one and I prepared the I designed the PCB board you can see I designed this PCB board I also put the name of my YouTube channel on so practically what I have here Arduino Nano RFID card on this side a buzzer resistors, transistor, diode, relay, connection and three LEDs those are the components that they are gonna come on I prepared everything in the box I have the card reader the relay buzzer LEDs diode, transistor, capacitor, connector, Duino Nano, and few resistors. And practically I'm gonna solder everything. It'll gonna go in this box. goes in this box with the RFID card here three holes and another hole here for the speaker so let's start to solder this stuff and then we're gonna try with my home automation system everything is prepared Tip cleaner, sponge, solder wire, some wax, and my third hand helper. So we're gonna start with my my buzzer. So we're gonna then go with everything. So let's start.
Looks like I'm done. Finish. All is all in place. All working good. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna bring power for the moment from the computer. So power off. Power on. Let's try a uh, Agno card. I know card is gonna flash the yellow one. If I pass the master is the one that re uh, reset all the panel. Then if I pass mine one, that's st still red is telling me that the sensors are activated. Green is telling me that the sensors are deactivated. And then the relay, I don't solder yet because I just have only one left. So I ordered some few. I'm waiting to receive them, then I'm gonna solder. So the relay, it'll gonna make the automatic lock uh, door. And for that, I need to wait when I'm gonna receive to, to solder also the relay. I also prepared the case. Uh, now let's put it in. So all the LEDs matching over there. I just need to push it. Let me push it a bit. You can see it's all there. The speaker, the buzzer, and this one it will gonna be attached to the front door when you go out from house you scan it when you come home you deactivate it and I'm gonna also hook up with the the main panel and we're gonna give a try to see how it's working also with the with the main panel so I hook up everything let's turn on the power to see how that works We are waiting to get the boot and the booting process. The booting process is done. And I prepared some cards. Let's start with the unknown one. An unknown card was blank. I am not able to recognize you. Sorry, if you have any bad intentions, I am going to call the police. Well, flashing the Christie one. Have a nice day, Christie. As you can see, Bye. The, the system is armed. Now the sensors are activated. Let's Time to get. System is disarmed. Soon we're gonna have the message. Welcome back home, Christy. How are you? Let's try the one with my name on. 
Have a nice day, Tony. Bye. Um, let's say I'm coming home. So I'm going to come the message. Welcome back home, Tony. How are you? That's it, my wife. Have a nice day, Gretchen. Bye. Let's see if she's coming home. Soon it's gonna come the message. Welcome back home, Gretchen. How are you? Let's try it. Have a nice day, Olympia. Bye. The message comes soon. Welcome back home, Olympia. How are you? So if you like my video please subscribe, activate the notification uh, bell in order to receive the next uh, video that it will gonna be one of these two projects so if I'm gonna receive on time the relays I'm gonna go over with this with this uh, sensor modules so they are gonna be five of them it's they were gonna stay on this box arranged like that so it's gonna stay the Arduino Pro Micro over there gonna stay my power supply over here it's gonna stay my sensors one which is the smoke one here motion sensor here here some relay diode transistor resistor connector point and here it will gonna be my NRF 24L01 which is one of this so as I mentioned if the relays come on time we're gonna go over with this project so stay tuned to see the next video so the same how you can see this board is also projected and designed and projected by myself. I'm gonna zoom a bit in to see better. So you can see, I mark it with my YouTube channel. Or otherwise, I'm gonna go over with my big project that is in the way because I'm, I was waiting components. So this is a digital potentiometer that I received a few days ago. That part of this project over here which is which is my power supply bench power supply so I'm projecting one for my bench for the moment i'm using this uh, itx power supply it's from the computer a power supply from the computer so i add uh, three transistors one bc327 another bc327 and a 2n 2n3005 no 2N3055 transistor in order to have this uh, variable power and then I have 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt and variable power but it's not enough just 12 volts so, so that's why I am working to make one more powerful from 0 to 35 volts but this one it will gonna be the display and I want to be controlled digitally by an Arduino, which is here. And also this relay, it's gonna be 
part of this project like that so up down increase the voltage decrease the voltage and when i am happy with i'm pressing this one and it's opening the port output port and everything is going to stay inside we're going to stay inside of this box i have inside already the transformer with the uh, bridge rectifier and i'm gonna put here it was um, something else inside of this one as you can see it's floor controller power supply so i'm i take out everything what was inside and i'm keeping only the power supply in order to make this uh, bench power supply so yeah please subscribe please like the video activate the notification bell to receive my new videos thank you guys